The speed and extent of the Nazi victories in Europe convinced Japan's leaders to sign the Axis Pact with Germany and Italy. Japanese troops occupied parts of French Indochina. Japan's empire is now run as a police state. Total obedience is demanded. Any opposition is ruthlessly stamped out by the Toko, Japan's thought police. The diary of teacher Jiro Morishita. Under censorship, we are unable to talk openly about the war. Mr. Kagawa was arrested under suspicion of being a traitor. The newspaper said that he has now agreed to change his views and the philosophy. I just cannot believe it. Britain and the United States are providing vital supplies to the Chinese forces fighting the Japanese. In Japan, this is seen as an act of aggression. Headmaster Risuke Kawamura. As long as Britain and America support China by providing arms, this war will not stop. Japan does not want to destroy China, but simply to kick out Britain and America. Japan has few natural resources and no oil to fuel her war machine. The Western powers have imposed economic sanctions. When Japan refuses to leave China immediately, the West cuts off the supply of oil. Yoichi Yanagida is a student from Kyoto. Call-ups into the army have become very heavy recently. More than ever, I sense that this is the time of national emergency. Every second, we seem to be on the brink of falling into an abyss. When will that fatal moment arrive? Twenty fourth of September, nineteen forty one. Naval intelligence in Tokyo sends a message to secret agent Yoshikawa, living in Pearl Harbor. Strictly secret. From now on, we would like to have you make reports concerning vessels. With regard to warships and aircraft carriers, we would like to have you report on those at anchor, tied up at wharves, and in docks. On the 7th of December, 1941, Japan launches a daring strike. Planes from a massive armada surprise the U.S. Pacific Fleet at Pearl Harbor. The attack is captured on color film by American serviceman Clyde Daughtry with his own camera. For the last 60 years, the original color of this badly faded print has gone unnoticed until now. This is the first time it has been broadcast in color. For two hours, 350 planes pound the American ships. Japanese pilots sink or badly damage eight battleships, three cruisers, and several other smaller ships. 
Only 29 Japanese planes are lost. Over 2,400 Americans are killed. The news of a great victory at Pearl Harbor is announced early in the morning. The new Prime Minister, General Hideki Tojo. The key to success lies in a faith in victory. For 2,600 years since it was founded, our empire has never known a defeat. It is time for the 100 million of us Japanese to sacrifice everything for our country's cause. Housewife, Te Fujiwara. I was so surprised at the news. I jumped around our garden with my baby, shouting, Oh God, oh God, let us put faith in the army. Twelve-year-old Yoshitaka Kojima is at school. We heard the footsteps of our teacher coming into the classroom. I was class leader and gave the order to stand up and bow. The first thing our teacher said was, Japan started the war against America and Britain. All of us were so excited, clapping our hands with joy. The force that attacks Pearl Harbor includes five mini-submarines. Four are destroyed and one captured. Its commander is the first Japanese prisoner of war, Ensign Kazu Sakamaki. My willingness to die goes without saying. Becoming a prisoner is inexcusable. Even when we are unarmed, to bite with teeth and to fight to the last is the Japanese spirit. With Japan's plan for Asian conquest now underway, the British colony of Hong Kong is vulnerable to attack. The headquarters of the Royal Navy's China Station Fleet, it is a symbol of Western domination over Asia. Chief of Operations, 25th Japanese Army, Colonel Masanabu Suchi. Japan's next great mission is to bring the blessing of freedom to the natives of South Asia. To these people, the Westerners are mere armed robbers, while we Japanese are their brothers. So we must beat them into submission. Japanese forces capture Hong Kong on Christmas Day, 1941. There are also invasions of the Philippines, Burma and British Malaya. The greatest prize of all lies at the tip of the Malayan Peninsula, Singapore, the bastion of the British Empire in the Far East. Colonel Masanobu Suchi to the invading troops. When you encounter the enemy, regard yourself as an avenger, face to face at last with your father's murderer. Here before you is the man whose death will lighten your heart of its brooding anger. The present war is a struggle between races. We must achieve our just demands with no thought of mercy to Europeans. Enemy forces at the port of Singapore was forced to surrender to the Japanese forces in Malaya at 7.50 p.m. With the capture of Singapore, Japan inflicts a humiliating defeat on the British Empire. 
the Japanese army overwhelms a British force twice its size. More than 100,000 British and Empire soldiers surrender. Singapore has fallen. Singapore has fallen. February the 19th, 1942. In another daring strike, the same force that hit Pearl Harbor surprises the Royal Australian Navy at Darwin. Eight ships are sunk and over 240 people killed. The Japanese have also begun an invasion of the Dutch East Indies. Their dream of imperial conquest is almost complete. Six weeks later, after steaming 4,000 miles across the Indian Ocean, the same fleet also surprises the Royal Navy at Colombo in Ceylon. 500 British seamen are killed. Japan's new empire now spans more than a fifth of the globe including Asia's vital oil fields. The diary of Sei Ito. When I heard the military song, we never stop advancing, my heart was pounding with excitement. I rejoiced with the victory, for we Japanese to be accepted as a first-class nation. We have no option but to fight. <laughs> 